Tom in the England squad again. Um, how happy are you to be, to keep your place in, 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 the, in the kind of large England squad? Uh, yeah, over the moon. It's, um, it's definitely an aim of mine to sort of try and uh, be in and around that squad and uh, to be named in it, in it again is, um, is really, really pleasing. So, yeah, over the moon. You know, it will be a different challenge. You've obviously played against the South Africa and then the Southern Hemisphere sides in, in the Autumn Internationals. And how excited are you the prospect of, of facing some Six Nations teams? Oh, hugely. I've never, I've never faced any of them before and it's always been the... Um, Sort of, sort of the premier competition in the Northern Hemisphere, and something I was watched from from what, when I can remember, first remember. Um, and it's a lot, a lot of rugby fans sort of just watch Six Nations, so it's um, to be involved in the build-up to it, and, and the squad's going to be great. Obviously, there's a lot of competition in, in your position, and you know they, they, they moved you out of the squad towards the end of the, 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 the autumn internationals. And does that drive you to try and improve and to try and show the likes of Stuart Lancaster why you should be starting? Yeah, you. you just trying, just trying to do my job, sort of for extra, and do that to the best of my abilities. Um, sort of what got me into the squad. So I just need to keep trying to do that. And um, the guys, the guys that came in and uh, sort of played New Zealand game were unbelievable. Played very well. And then the, the strength of the squad is is huge. So um, I'm very happy to be named in it, and I'd, I'd like to uh, just try and keep my standards high and keep playing as well as I can. And how much confidence do you feel England will take into those opening Six Nations games, having got the win against New Zealand? Yeah, the boys should be taking a lot of confidence. It wasn't. Um, I think we felt the win was coming over those uh, over those those four games, and to get the one against the the, the big New Zealand people, they were as it, it really drove us on. Um, and hopefully, we need to, we need to kick on from that in this in the camp in a couple of weeks, and then uh, and then hit the ground running for the Six Nations. You have Claremont this weekend, and, and how much of those Heineken Cup games improved you as a player? Um, I think every game in the Premiership. And the Heineken Cup play, uh, improves you as a player. Um, we've had a couple of tough Premiership games, and, uh, and we've had to really sort of dig deep and uh, and really focus on our basics. And going out out to Claremont, it's going to be a different challenge. Um, big, big French side, and uh, with an unbeaten home record. So it's uh, something to relish and look forward to, and go and enjoy. You know, if you look at the way that she's played them here, for, certainly for the first 15 minutes, they they pretty much matched them. But it's going to be doubly hard, if not trebly hard, over there in, in front of their home fans, isn't it? Yes, most, the atmosphere is going to be uh, really, really good. Uh, some of the boys have played over there already uh, for other teams and said how good it was. Um, so I think we've, we've got to try and enjoy that and, and use that. Um, and we know to, that sticking with them 50 minutes wasn't good enough last time and it won't be good enough this time. And you know, the Heineken Cup, people are probably, you know, it's not mathematically impossible that Chiefs couldn't go through. You know, do you still have that focus, or is this kind of one of those games where you think, you know, it's just an opportunity to play and improve and, you know, and take the experience? There is obviously that, but um, it'd be it'd be really nice to go and try and upset them and uh, do something with their home record. Um, so there is there is a there's a big challenge there for us and a big uh, sort of big bit of bait that we want to go and get. You know, you're here at the Chiefs at the moment. I know you're out of contract at the end of the summer. Would you, would you like to to stay here at Exeter? You know, after you know getting into the England squad with the Chiefs and getting him into the Heineken Cup. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty much an Exeter boy for six years now. So um, so this is where sort of my rugby is and uh, and what's got me into the into the sort of the top the EPS and and everything. So uh, so yeah, it's just it's be great to stay if possible. And finally, you know, you mentioned there about Claremont and you know upsetting the odds. And you know, I think they've lost just twice the season in the, in the top 14. They're second in the table. Would it be, do you think, the greatest win in Exeter's history if they could upset the odds in Claremont? I don't know. Um, it'd be pretty. It'd be pretty tasty. But um, we, we, to be honest, we enjoy most of our wins. Um, in a wins a win, and we'll uh, we'll celebrate accordingly. That's all I need.